my name is Mo and today we've been kindly lent a CLA 45S. This car is producing 415 brake horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. But enough of the chit chat, let's get in the car and show you what you want to see. to take this rocket for a drive the CLA 45s I've got my friend Ali here who's gonna be giving um, a passenger's perspective you ready? let's go yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. let's, let's see go. what this baby's got sound of it i think they do get i don't know quote me if i'm wrong guys but i think the sound gets pushed through the speakers yeah it sounds a bit exaggerated yeah, like i think if you have the windows down because from the outside it sounds different to what it sounds from the inside yeah but it's just giving you that sportier feeling so but you know what i like about this is that you know there's four driving modes there's comfort sport sport plus and racetrack mode obviously which yeah. we can't go into yeah but and I'll be, I'll be honest, since I had the car, I've been driving this 4 Plus the whole time. But, <laughs> you know, even in comfort, it's, it's still responsive. You know, it, it packs a punch even in, even in comfort. So you can be... So, to be fair, it could be considered, you know, a, a family saloon. Like, you know, you can have the, the missus, the kids in the car. Yeah. But you can also put your foot down and eat off most of the cars on the road you got 420 brake horsepower 500 new meters and that's why you want to keep it in sport or sport plus <laughs> yeah, exactly. to get the most of it because exactly. a car like this you don't want to be going around in comfort honestly yeah, see that again, sticking to the speed limit of course i just hope that was a police behind me though <laughs> that would be very <laughs> awkward if it was <laughs> but i think what i like about this in particular is like the the interior you know. the thing is if you compare this to the old CLA, so I actually had the opportunity to drive the oh, older okay. CLA. Yeah, yeah. Was that uh, the CLA 45? Yeah, the CLA 45, okay. so the 2015 uh, shape. I had the opportunity to drive that, I had it for a few days. And comparing it to this, it's night and day. Like, this yeah. is 10 times better because you got to factor in the interior, you got to factor in the looks of the car. I'll be They've very honest. Stepped They've you stepped up. You told me, up. guys, in the comments below. I don't know, the, the older shape CLA was kind of, I don't know, it's ugly in a sense. I felt like it was a bit boyish. Do you know? And even, like, even while driving it, it felt like a toy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. like this is a grown up car. This is like yeah, Mercedes see, taking a step see, up. See, that's the thing, that's the thing. With the saloon, it has a more of a mature kind yeah, of exactly. aspect to it. And, and it's a little bit longer, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I and think it feels a little bit longer. And that's the so. thing. Do you know, if you look at a normal CLA 45, the older one, you couldn't really distinguish it from a normal C220B yeah, exactly. because they didn't really look the part unless you got you know the body kit, the lip spoiler, the, the fuser, the front splitter, etc. So but comparing it to this, one thing that Mercedes need to change but they haven't How changed. How may I help you? Uh, see that's Sorry, what they need to change. That's yeah, something what can they, I do for you? That's that's something you? They need to 100% uh, okay. change. Sorry about that. But um, one thing they need to change is the seats. Yeah. You tell me. They're very the uncomfortable. Seats, they're so the lumbar support on this, Honestly. it's non-existent pretty Honestly. much. Honestly, yeah. I had the car, what, a day or two, and my lower back is finished. I don't, I don't think you finished. could do many more weight journeys on this. Yeah, that see, way. that's the thing. That's, because... that, that's the problem, because if you got, like, you know, that's why it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's like, it's confused, because it, it's not a, a family saloon, because it's uncomfortable. Exactly. And it's not a motorway cruiser either. Exactly. So what is it? It's more of a track car. And even with the space in the back, I think it's good for maybe four adults, but yeah. five is a yeah. tight nah, squeeze. No, it's a push. I, yeah. think, I don't even think there's a middle seat. No, it must be a middle seat, but... There is a middle seat, but it's, it's pretty much just if there's a child in between, you could. But I, I would not imagine doing long journeys in that. And, on the motorway, no. And, the, and the, the biggest issue that's always been with the Mercs is the infotainment system. You know me, I'm a BMW guy, so 
it's not even a biased thing, but BMW's infotainment system is probably the best on the market. Top notch. Coming Audi coming second and Merck coming back then even. Back then when the, with the older CLA. Um, but this one, it's it's, it's it's crazy. You know, the ambient lighting, the two yeah. big screens you have. It's just like a sweep away kind it's, of thing. It's state, classy, you know? that's the that's yeah. the thing, it's it's a it's a fast car, but it's very classy at the same time. That's what that's what I like about the car. And how like driving it for the past what two days. It's it, you know it's surprising it's been good on fuel. Yeah. Surprising. I've been hammering it, but it's been it's been quite decent on fuel. Um, but what would you say if you could have this or let's say what's I'll say RS3. Yeah, I RS3 think that's a good comparison or, actually. Because I wouldn't go to the S3 because that's more A35. Yeah. Considering this is the A45S. You know, it's the it's competitor is the RS3. But I think the one thing I would give it to this is the interior because the interior yeah, is yeah. just insane. I don't then, think there's any then, other car out there that. But can then you match. got the Audi with the digital cockpit as well. Yeah, which is really really good, really good, really responsive. Um, you don't and I think. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Why do I keep on getting notifications? Where Sorry about that. It doesn't have to close the door. <laughs> yeah, RS3 or uh, CLA45S. You've, you've actually yeah. driven the car as I've well. I've driven so, the car as well. So you can actually give a... I haven't driven an RS3. I have driven a mm, A3 saloon, which is nowhere near comparison. <laughs> so Yeah, we can't yeah, go there. I, I, but I would say definitely based on the looks and the interior, I would say it has to be the CLA. Yeah. But, but the RS3 is... It's got something uh, about it. I think but there's too many it's, floating it's the around. It's that five pot. It's just you, yeah. can't, you can't get away with it. You can't get away from it. That like that engine roar, you, the, I'll say it's probably the best in the market. But do you reckon this is a more common car or that? Because I see loads of RS threes flying around, and this, yeah, this, I think it's a bit. I'll you be know, honest, you know, like it will stand we, out. We took it through London last night, and yeah. the amount of heads that were oh, turning, man. and, and every single one, yeah, exactly. And people you know, really noise, appreciate the interior. The noise is whatever, but you know, the it does have. Like you know, especially when it pops a bit, yeah. it does have a nice. And the noise has been limited, obviously, because of the PPF. But yeah. even then, it sounds okay. But it's, I mean, I but don't I think the noise that, alone is going to turn a lot of heads. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the main thing with me is, is that I actually think the pushing it through the speakers is. Uh, what's that? What, what's happened is, is that someone's actually pulled up next to us, and speaking of heads turning, they want us to rev the car. <laughs> So I'm gonna give him a little, uh, little taster. Is it Sport Plus? Yeah. yeah. Always. It does really. Open I up. mean, do you know what? It does actually sound good. But this doesn't compare to the RS3 though. No. The RS3 is way better. The RS3 is. <sighs> I don't ten know. I'm a bit split with that. Nah, you're I crazy. just think like it just what in do you terms think? of. Comment below. Yeah. RS3 you let us know. What do you think? S. I just think in terms of like. Both saloons as well. Being an individual car, I think the RS3, there's too many floating around. As nice of a car as it is. That is very true. There are a lot of them. And that's the thing. This has that, you know, it's distinctive factor about exactly. it. Exactly. And there's not a lot of them on the roads. But is there a reason for that? Yeah. Mm, could be. Maybe maybe the seats. Maybe the seats yeah, are too uncomfortable. My back is gone. <laughs> but I think, it, I think it's because of the engine of the RS3. You know, that sound is just, yeah. just top notch. And Audi, the Quattro system, I mean, come on. Second to not. Yeah, that's the thing, because even this, it spins out a bit, but... Um, yeah, what's that like? When you, so when you're going at a bit of a higher speed? See, I was actually, uh, I actually chucked around a few bends last night and it was stuck, stuck to the floor. Okay, mm. surprising. Stuck to the floor, but, but then again, because it's front-wheel drive bias, it does spin up a bit. Like, when I, when I, if I floor it further on, it does, you know, the torque stay, it does go a bit. It does go a bit sideways, but that's just because it's packing 400 brake horsepower from you know a front wheel front wheel drive bias car but got a little tunnel coming up give it a little sun but uh traffic as per <laughs> usual as per usual england i love this car man legit it just gives you it just puts a smile on your face that's why it's yeah. best that it's thing. a nice place to be it's a nice place to be But I've driven quite a few fast cars, but you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just something about this that.
Yeah, I reckon this car, if you can get that far, I'll probably take it to the autobahn. Is it restricted? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Restricted, I think. Then I'm, you could. I don't know what. So what's this? This is restricted at. 155. 155, okay. They're all, I think all Germans or all cars in general, I think they're, yeah. if you can get to 155, they're restricted. Not on, not on UK roads. Yeah, definitely not. This, we're in Mexico right now, <laughs> if, you, if you really wanted to know. I said the C63, like you, you feel that instantly as soon as you jump in the car, you you get something that's something special, and I, I know what you mean. It lacks that, and the noise you know, as well. And yeah, you know, I'm not exactly. a fan of, like I said, the sound coming through the I think it's just, yeah. I don't know, it's just a bit you know, a bit strange to do that because it just takes away the whole pups just got overtaken by a, a cash car. <laughs> what we did says a lot. <laughs> Well, so guys, we we're just trying to find somewhere to do um, a little zero to, zero to 60 for you guys. Um, we're going to be doing it on a trusty iPhone stopwatch because I haven't invested in a draggy time thing before or yet. Are you ready? Ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I've got five seconds, but I what? think, yeah, there's probably. Wait, but let's do it again. Probably a bit of lag. Yeah, there's a bit of lag. But it's because I can't launch it, innit? That's yeah, why. exactly. But, you'll, you'll get a much better time, much more accurate time with that. Because if you've got some people on the media outlets doing four, I mean, sorry, 3.7, 3. Exactly. then we should really be. Let's try it again quickly. You ready? Uh, Alright, so. Three, two, one, go. I got five seconds. Five seconds again. This goes without launching it, man. Yeah, exactly. I no, that's that's crazy. No, it can't be that. It cannot be five seconds. Honestly. What are we doing wrong? It's the lag though, it's the lag at the start, that's what it is. It's the lag. One thing I like about the infotainment system, that's the thing, the inf infotainment system now is much better yeah. than it was before. Loads of different options. Because now it's easy to it might be so simplistic to just pair your phone to the Bluetooth. Like before, it used to be an issue. Like I used to, on BMW in my car, you can do it within two seconds. On the older Mercs, you would be sitting there for ages trying to... But just with that connectivity thing, the wireless charging on this, what do you think? Awful. That's one word, okay. awful, mate. Both, okay, so we got in the car yesterday. I bought my USB with me and as normal, I went into this, tried to find the USB port, so thinking, okay, it's not there. So I tried down there, not there either. Asked Ali, because he's a Merc guy, I was like, okay, bro, where's the USB ports in this? 
because in my car. But that's funny there. because they usually always have it. So that's I'm not sure moved, what they've done with this. That's the thing. They've moved on in the sense that they're ah, going to okay. USB C or USB A, whichever one it is. It's the really really thin one. Yeah. I don't think it's USB C. It's something else. So. But <laughs> that's what they've moved on to. So. And then so this is where so where you put the wireless charging. Uh, it's probably not in short, but what you do, there's nothing there to hold the phone in place. Yeah. So when you yeah. do sort of do a little bit of speed, it moves the phone and it's no longer charging. Yeah, so it just comes in and And it's really, charging. really slow at charging. So it, it could take sort of hours, basically. I, I, I reckon it'd probably take a, a long time to For go from zero to 20%, it was, uh, it was about, you know, about 45 minutes. Remember, it wasn't even charging yesterday. And so if you're going to have the option, of wireless okay, charging. That, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so it's dead oh. fireworks. But yeah, if you got the wireless charging, then at least you'd want it to charge your phone up quick. Yeah. Or quicker than usual. Which is definitely not the case. But overall, the car, you've driven it as well. What are you saying? What do you think about it? I think it's good. And I think one thing you have to keep in mind as well is the ride height. Yeah. So it's quite low as it yeah. comes so but when you're going like over speed yeah yeah, like yeah but i think you have to be careful when you're going over speed bumps yeah because there's been once or twice when it really scrapes the bottom so like, like here yeah you have to be, extra, you have to be extra, careful of the splitter yeah um but otherwise i think there's a couple of sort of nitpicky things but otherwise i think it's a really nice car i think it's i think it, it serves its purpose yeah as a as a small you know, family saloon, if you want to call it that, a, a very fast family saloon. I think it does its job. You know, it's powerful. It's got, you know, ample boot space. Yeah. You know, which is not that we care about that. But yeah, exactly. Not that we care about that at all because what we really do care about is that's what we really do care about. <laughs> I don't know why we're exactly. talking about boot space. <laughs> so that's the end of the review guys for our first review i hope you enjoyed it comment down below what you think whether it's criticism whether it's positive i invite it tell me what i need to do to improve make sure to like share subscribe there's a lot more cars coming on the channel a lot more reviews a lot more owners coming on to share their pride and joys so comment what you would like him to review next yeah what kind of cars you like to see on the channel 100 percent. or what kind of content you like to see definitely let me know there's also still going to be car shows going on so you'll still see this car show meets but hopefully there'll be more of the reviews so uh yeah i'll catch you on the next one stay tuned take care